Cozy Ennis, the father trainer of Jerron Ennis on the line. Mr. Ennis, how are you? I'm fine with you, my brother. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, obviously, for giving us the time to get on the show here and uh, interview you for a bit. Um, obviously, we're going to jump right into it. The most important thing for us is, did you watch uh, Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter fight Saturday night? You know you don't need to ask me that. <laughs> you know, I watched it. And what did yeah, you think? I watched it. Well, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I had uh, Porter with it. Uh-huh. At the time of the stoppage. At the time. But no, you know, no, well, no, that's when uh, uh, Terrence was get, coming on. Yeah, he started coming on. You know what I mean? But I'm saying um, the early, early around, I had uh, Sean Woody. I had Sean Woody. Yeah, I had him winning. You know what I mean? Uh, one for them two, I think one for them knockdowns and, and, and his father starts the fight. It, it would have been a difficult fight. I don't think it was going to be easy because I ain't never seen Terrence uh, fight like that, get roughed up like that. Mm. You know what I mean? And he was getting hit with some shots. You know what I mean? Some good shots, but, you know, he, he, don't, he didn't sit down on his, on his shots, though. Uh, Sean, he wasn't he wasn't sitting down. He was moving, doing a lot of movement. You know what I mean? But uh, it was a good fight. You know what I mean? Just it was just a matter of time before um, Crawford caught him, though, because you know Crawford, Crawford is a good finisher too, though. See, that's another thing. You know? Absolutely. So it was a good fight. Yeah. And um, what did you think of the stoppage? Obviously. As a father and a trainer, I think your opinion on this matter is valid, uh, and I would like to know yes. what you thought. My thoughts on that, I, I didn't think that he should have stopped the fight. The reason why I said that, because Sean Porter, when he was on the canvas and he started hitting the canvas, that means he wasn't hurt. That means he was he was pissed off because he got knocked down again. You know what I mean? And you see, when he got up, he wasn't wobbly or nothing. You know what I mean? So... I don't know why his father did that. You know what I mean? And I well, then again, like I said, everybody was saying that uh, Terrence Crawford is a good finisher, but you 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 don't know what can happen in boxing. Anything can happen in boxing. You know what I mean? I know he wasn't going to let him take no uh, uh, terrible beating. He would have stopped. Now if he had to stop it then. That would have been something different. If he was taking a bad beat, you know what I mean? Did and you hear? I, I didn't think he uh, should have stopped it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just going to ask. Did you hear yeah. any of uh, Ken Porter's post fights? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't like that. No, I didn't like that because if your son wasn't listening to you in training and wasn't doing what you wanted him to do, well, why would you allow him to fight? You know what I mean? I wouldn't allow him to fight, so don't use that for excuse. And then you're, going to take, you're taking away from um, Terrence Crawford. Win. That's what you're doing. You know what I mm. mean? And um, you don't down your son on national TV with the whole world sees it. You don't do that, man. You know what I mean? You know? Now, Bozy, let me he throw a, let, let me throw another yeah. one at you. Do you think that he was instead of downing his son, was he taking the blame for his son? Because many people feel it was inevitable that the stoppage would have came that by throwing in the towel, he saved Sean from being knocked out and puts the 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 the, 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 the you know the heat on him. Like, oh, you threw in the towel prematurely. Right, right. right. Well, I mean, if you look at it, it's still almost the same thing. When Sean, you see, when Sean came back to the corner and then he was pissed off when his father stopped it. So that's just like throwing a talent. <laughs> if you look at it. Well, before I pass you to my co host, Mario Munguia of the Infighting Podcast, I do want to ask you if it were Jerron Ennis. On that very right. night, on that Saturday that just passed us a few hours ago. What would have happened, right. and what did you see that he would have been able to capitalize on? Well, I noticed this on, on, on uh, Crawford. Crawford don't like that pressure like that. You know what I mean? He don't like that pressure. And like I said, Crawford was a good fighter and everything, but Boos is more, more, much more athletic. And Boos switches much better than he do. And uh, if you notice, when he switched on his, his southpaw side, that's his, that's his strongest side. When you're on the right hand, he's not that strong on the, on the right hand side. Boots strong on both sides. You you and a lot of times you don't know when boots switch. You know, everybody said, well, you know, I didn't even know when he switched like that. And he's still powerful. You know what the commentator said? What fighter do you know is, is, is powerful on both sides? 
You know what I mean? Strong on both sides. You know? So I've seen a lot of openings on, on Terrence. Terrence, uh, Terrence Dude can hit a lot. You know what I mean? And then Terrence normally starts slow, just like he started uh, when he fight. I mean, see, there's a lot of things, you know? But, I mean, that'd be a good fight with him and Bush, so i like to see that. Because, you know what I mean? Almost similar. All right, I know I said that was my last one before I pass you to Mario, but I didn't want to forget and he not ask you, do you feel the fight happens before Terrence retires? Yesterday he did an interview with Sean Porter on his on the Porter Way podcast, and he was talking about Sean retiring, and he said, I'm not too far behind you. You know, I do got some fit, some yeah. business. He said, I do got business to, to, to settle, but I'm going to retire soon too. So, like... Do you think Boots is going to be on that short list? See, I see, what I see is, is this. Uh, a lot of them guys, like just like Terrence and uh, Spence, they're going to fight the fights that they want to fight, and then Spence said he's going to move up. And uh, Terrence, I don't know what Terrence, just you said Terrence, they want to be tired. But I don't think so. I think they're just going to move up, or, 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 or Terrence might move back down. I don't know. You know what I mean? I couldn't really say though, but uh, they nobody really saying they fight. They gonna fight Boots. You know, you heard Boots sound all of them in the ring. He wanted all, all of them, all the top guys, Thurman, all of them. So you know, and like I tell everybody, you know, they not scared of Boots. I mean, it, it's business, man. That's what I try to tell people. You know what I mean? You know, with the way the move, way they move it, they move the right way, and they want to get the most money they can get out the fight. You know what I mean? So. You know, I, hey, whatever they do, if they they want to fight, we gonna fight. If they don't fight, they they gotta like shit and get off the pot, man. Mm. You should get off the pot. You gotta do one of them, man. You know what I mean? Because we we come and we don't we don't care who we fight. You know what I mean? And you heard what Virgil uh, uh, Ortiz said. He, he it don't make no sense fighting boots right now. But one time, uh, uh, what's his name? Robert Garcia was saying that what Virgil Ortiz would do to boots. He said, "Well, he here." He's a good fighter, but he'll stop Boots. You know what I mean? Then he changed his tune after Boots knocked out Lemonette. You know what I mean? Mm. And then when he Boots just knocked out Wichita, you know what I mean? They all changed their tune now. Because every time Boots fight, it's supposed to be a, a step up fight. Uh, and then when he do win, uh, he got to fight, fight somebody he can fight. Man, these guys been in there with champions. And one guy was a champion. So what do you mean? You know what I mean? And, and um, the Army just fought at the Boy and that was a close fight. You know what I mean? So what do you what do y'all think? You know what I mean? Good point. You know, so, hey, that's what I try to tell him, man. I said, listen, and when you remember, Delaney was beating uh 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 Crawford to Crawford Cordy. Go back and look at that fight. You know what I mean? He was beating Crawford. Yes, sir. Uh, coach, you know? I want to go back real quick to your scorecard because um. I also had Porter up around before the end of the fight. Um, based what, off of right. what you saw, what is the toughest fight that you envision for um, Bud? You know, realistic, uh, not including Spence and not including Boots. For Bud, I think uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz. I think Virgil Ortiz is pretty tough, man. Virgil Ortiz and who else? Uh, maybe, maybe the boy. Uh, let me see. That's the top the young boy. Oh, oh, what's the boy name? He don't fight that much. Rashidi Ellis. Mm. I think yeah. I think I think it, yeah. Them two right there. Yeah, them two right there. I think that that that's a, a tough fight. For Crawford. You know I mean? Yeah, I do. I do. Rashidi Ellis that hasn't think. fought in a year is a tough fight, or you say in theory when he gets a tune up, or you saying like right right now because you know he been. Oh, I ain't talking about that right now. No, oh. I ain't talking about right now. No, no, no. I'm talking about if he stay busy, he's just busy enough. Because see, if you understand, a lot of guys that that box and move get them problems. You know, a moving target is hard to hit. If you box and move and do your leg, these a lot of these guys get frustrated. They used to have. Them, Boxing guys right in front of them, though. Don't move that much. But Rashid Ellis moved pretty good, man. So it's good. But that's what I mean by it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Now, I, yeah, I want to ask. I want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah, I said he's a good, he's a good little fighter. You know what I mean, you know. Well, let me double down on that, Mario, because you know Rashidi Ellis is going to be a free agent this year coming up. Bo- Bozy, is that someone you would like for Ennis? Right now, no. We want the top dogs. We don't. No, nah, we, we don't want to go backwards. Why would we go backwards? Backwards. We ranked up there, uh, number three. Number. We right there. We ranked past them. So why would we go backwards? You understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why would we go backwards? We 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 on the threshold of getting to that title. You know, Coach, a lot has been made about um boot situation promotionally, um, and right. and they've been correlating that with Crawford uh promotionally. Uh what's your take on all that as far as how you secure the fights and and um being in the position that you're in? I mean, there are pros and cons, right? Right, right. Yeah, but um, Talk. I already got uh, I got information from the top man that Boots is fighting for a title uh, next year. And by the way, you know, I, got I mean the top, the yeah, only top yeah. man I know is 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 good old Al. Or you talking yeah, about yeah, top man yeah, Cameron? Yeah, Al's, there's another top man that uh that runs uh Showtime. Okay, okay. That sounds oh, good. Yeah. So okay. him and Al's together. That's a top uh, man for sure. Remember him and Al's together. I hear you. Him and Al's together. So, all right. So, you know what I mean? So, that's what, and, you know, we was trying to get that, that guy to just sport um, uh, 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 Jamal, Jamal James. James Butaev. 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 We tried to get him because they asked him a- after uh, he beat uh, James, what about you fighting Ennis? And he says, nah. He said, nah, not, no, no, we don't want to fight Ennis. We, I want to fight Ugas. You know what I mean? You know, then they asked, you know, they asked my son, Boots, who do you fight? He said, I fight any of them. I don't care who it is, as long as I'm fighting for a title. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you know, but that's, that's the way, they, and that's the way they're going. And like I said, I understand a lot of them guys, man. You know what I mean? They trying to get the big money real quick. And I, like I, like I tell people, Boots still young, man. I, mean, I, I ain't worrying about nothing. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna get to the, uh, uh, the water. We gonna get to it. You know what I mean? Like I, like I said, we got information next year. It might be, the, uh, you know what I mean? And it and, and, uh, might be in um, the summertime. But I know we're going to get a fight before that. You know what I mean? Mm. By before, okay. By before you mean when? Like trying, what, we're January? Trying to, we're trying to, not, cut, not cutting you off, though, but we're trying to get the number one guy for the IBF, for the, for the interim title. Quadratula. We're trying to get that guy. Yeah, yeah, whatever his name is. Thank you. He's IBF title. Yeah, we, yeah, we've been we've been trying to get him. You know what I mean? And we trying to get that boy uh, Avanasian, whatever the boy name. Yeah, yeah, he's a good fighter too. He just he beat uh, Kevin. Uh, what's his name? Uh, but but he got ordered to be an boy, eliminator, coach. He's ordered to be yeah, an eliminator with, with with Virgil. Virgil Ortiz, but I I don't know if that's going to take effect though. You know what I mean? We, you know, everybody always saying that they can make fight this guy. But you see how the, the politics play the game, man. Mm. The number one guy supposed to fight, you know, fight, might be the, uh, the number one guy supposed to fight for the title. And then they bypass the number one guy. You know what I mean? The mandatories. So, like I'm saying, it's all politics, man. You know what I mean? Whoever they want to fight, they that's who they fight. It ain't like it used to be. You had to fight. You know what I mean? But, you know, people got money behind certain people. You know what I mean? They, I guess they can pay. Pay their way. You know what I mean? Truth. Facts. Facts. Yeah, so Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah. I just seen all types of stuff in this game for a long time, man. You have, you have. Uh coach, I want to ask you your, your opinion. I know that Keith Thurman, you know, made some pretty controversial comments about y'all um a while back. But we've been talking about him today. You know, because his only loss is Pacquiao, but people seem to leave him out right. of the conversation. Uh, you know, when it when they talk about the future right. and even the present, do you feel like Thurman is still the threat that we all once thought of him as? Uh, do you see him as washed goods? Like, what what is your opinion on Thurman? Thurman, I think Thurman is a good, still a good fighter, man. They can talk that talk all they want to, you know what I mean? But Thurman just been out so long, you know what I mean? And, and Thurman is another one that's trying to pick who he, who he want to fight now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, and he told me he would, he don't he didn't know nothing about uh Jerron Boots Ennis. I said now to myself when they uh, interview me, I said now how he don't know nothing about Jerron Boots Ennis when <laughs> Spence know about him, 
uh, Crawford know about him. All the top guys know about him except you. You know what I mean? And um, I know you watch Showtime because you're on Showtime all the time. And you fight on Showtime. So you, and that's why a lot of people got mad at him when he said that. Even the dude Fanon and all them guys. They mm-hmm. said, you know, I used to love, I love, I love Thurman, man. But when he said that, he ain't no Dryan Ellis. You know, he just, he just turned my head, man. You know what I mean? That was cap. You know, Coach, that was all cap. That Coach, was all cap. You know, he said that yeah. to me. That was yeah. my interview. I, I I went to see him in the yeah. gym when right. he said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I said, you. this is what I said. You don't want to know him. That's what it is. You know what I mean? You, you tell me you mm. don't know you. I never heard of him. That's just like what he did with Spence back then, remember? Mm-hmm. He did that with Spence. Someone when Spence wanted to fight him. Oh, he yeah. hasn't done nothing. What did he do? And you know what I mean? See, they all they all do that, man. They all do that when they when they when they don't want to fight you. They will find some kind of way to get out. You know. Very right. No, go ahead, Ness. Well, uh, Coach, man, I do want to ask. Based off that Crawford performance. How good do you think he is? Hey, listen, listen, listen. One thing I like about Crawford, and him and the, him and Boots is almost similar. Crawford would fight you. People understand. Crawford is, 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 is one of they what they call it a dog. But I think that, man, he's a beast. He's he gonna fight you. He he gonna try to find any way to win. He'll box you and he'll fight you. And that's what Boots do. I tell Boots when they walk somebody down. You know what I mean? Boots like to fight. You know what I mean? Boots can outbox so many people, you know what I mean? But he get bored. It's so easy to him. And he get bored. A lot of fighters get bored. People understand that. They get bored. They want to fight. You know what I mean? And um, I think Crawford, like I said, Crawford's uh, one of the best fighters out there. And Spence, too. They some good fighters, man. You know what I mean? You know? And that's what I said about him. He go all the way out. Crawford go all the way out. You want to kill Crawford in that ring. Well, Coach, I, I, I wanted to ask that because I've been kind of floating this idea. You're a trainer. You could tell me how crazy you think I am. I feel like uh-huh. I feel like Triple G's 39 years old. He bought the fight December 29th what? versus uh, the Japanese super middleweight WBA champion. Yeah, Excuse me. Yep. Okay, so uh-huh. you know him. So, so... I just think maybe Crawford could pick him off right now. I always felt Floyd could beat Gennady. And after this fight right. with, with Murata, if he wins, I think Crawford could beat him. Right. Uh, what about you? Is that too oh. much to, to, to try? You think Crawford can beat who? Gennady? Yeah. Gennady? Yeah. Oh, what what he, what he, I don't, what he, what he, what he moving up and waiting or something to fight him? Or something? I mean, if he were to. If he were to just move up, that just the way that Kelbrook moved up to fight Gennady, and and he 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 landed right. some shots, and he ain't nowhere near as good as Crawford. I'm just saying, I think he could pick him yeah, off. Yeah, I got you. He he could have if you get the right information on the corner, which they know what they're talking about. If I had Crawford uh, fight Gennady, I had him boxing and moving. Don't don't try to bang with him because you know take one shot from that that, that kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he got a, he got a hell of a chance. I agree with you on that. Mm. He got a hell of a chance to beat beat uh, beat uh, uh, Gennady. Dude. Yeah. Wow. So, last question, yep. Coach. Uh, I mean, if you know, uh-huh. politics aside, you know, not not even politics aside. What's the most realistic thing for your son next and when? Well, the realistic thing is is uh, fighting for the title. Uh, this year coming up, and um, we trying to get the fights in Philly. We trying to get it in Philly. You know what I mean? The one with Butayev. And uh, oh, I don't care. No, I don't know Butayev. He said he ain't fighting Butayev. So, but uh, if he do, yeah, that's what I, we want him or or, or Ugas. We wanted Ugas too. We we said Ugas. We want them guys. Them the guys we want. You know what I mean? So, but you, know, you want, want Ugas? Guys, but you want Ugas in Philly? Oh no, 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 not in Philly. I want uh, the boy Butte. If we get him, oh yeah, he'd be that'd be good for the Philly. Okay, Ugas, no, Ugas being a, a bigger place. And who would get a bigger place for Philly? That. Who would be the guy? Because I know you said you wanted to fight for the IBO champion and the WBA champion. So who would be the the person you fight for the IBO? 
Oh, uh, that's that's the boy. Um, I told you the number one boy. Uh, I, I can't call his name. His number one boy. He uh, matter of fact, Cameron Duncan used to have him. Hmm. I'm I forgot the, the boy name. He's he from Kazakhstan. He's from Kazakhstan. I'm gonna have to look and that he beat one the, up. Let me beat the, Yeah, he beat the ball from New York, my man, from the old guy. Oh from no, New York. but What's nah, you confusing the IBO with the IBF. You talking about Quadratulo Abdul Rakorov who beat Louis Calazzo. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking I am not talking about the IBO. I'll tell you something about the IBO. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. so okay, so you saying this year, twenty twenty two, is either the WBA regular with, with Butayev or an eliminator with Quadratulo. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. We got to get that eliminated because we uh we've been talking to people. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So we on that. That's what we on. They eliminated, and then we then whoever they gonna have to fight it sooner or later. You know what I mean? Once we get that number one spot, you know what I mean? So like I said, we got to just keep climbing the ladder. You know what I mean? Next year you will see boost boost be fighting for a title. All right. Well, coach, I ain't gonna yep. hold you. I know you're on your way to the gym, Mario. You got anything last minute? You know, I, I just wanted well, to what? get your opinion on Connor Ben real quick. Co oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I just pulled up to the gym. You're right on time. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, well, you, uh, you just real quick, you want to tell us what uh, thoughts on Connor Ben real quick before we let you go? I think I think he's already right fighting though. You know what I mean? I think he's already right fighting. Do you he's see a fighting, fight you know I mean? between him and your son one day? Is that is that something that you think those oh, roads are listen, lined up? Listen. But not only him, all the guys, all the guys. We 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 once once we get we we don't care who we fight. You know what I mean? Once we once we get uh, situated and get in the right uh, uh, position, and you know with, uh, the titles and all, man, we we take all comers, man. We don't care who it is. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna turn down no fights. You know what I mean? But like right now, like I said, we want the top guys, somebody that some somebody that has something and means something. Mm -hmm. You know. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. We don't care who it is. I like kind of Ben, but kind of Ben can't do that with my son. Them dudes, man. They, they'll see, though. They'll see. When you when Boots fight somebody that's top tier, you'll see a different type of uh, fighting. All kinds of mm. stuff come. He didn't get a chance to, to go go past them rounds yet. And everybody posted, oh, this guy's going to take him past this. Just like Delarmy. Oh, oh, we got uh, uh, Livinette. Livinette, what's he taking uh, in deep waters? And they both of them said about deep waters, about my son. Both of them said that. Look what happened. Good they point. didn't make it to the water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Good point. You know what I mean? Neither one of them. But you heard what uh, Lemonette did, said uh, when he put up on tweet. He said, man, at least I made it. At least I made it out the first round. <laughs> he said, I <laughs> did it off the army. <laughs> he tweeted oh, that man. to him. You know what I mean? He liked Boots, too. He said, man, that, you know, he talked good about Boots, too. Yeah, I seen you know Boots I mean? retweeting something army. about him, too. Because uh, I think I think Lippinets yeah. going back down to 140, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But listen, uh, uh, you see, DeLarmy was trying to... Uh, 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 Contest it. Overturn the... Overturn the... Um, yeah, that, that match with him and Boots. Yeah, yeah, trying to overturn it. Yeah, how you going to overturn it and the punch to knock you out? A knock you down was a, a right a right hook and a straight left, and you gonna tell me you got hit behind the ear? And, and Espinosa and all of them looked at the tape. Well, we said, man, that, that wasn't behind the head. That was on the ear and the, and, his, and his chin. I mean, not his chin, his, his, uh, back in his back, right there by the ear, right there, his jaw. He said, man, I watched it over. He said, man, he, ain't, ain't nobody gonna overturn that. You know what I mean? I said, yeah, but he probably went home and had somebody punch him in the back of the head and made a bruise on the back of the head or something. Yeah. Well, Coach, that's man, why you don't hear nothing about it no more. I let, I hope so, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, but 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 thank you for your yeah. time. I know you at the gym. We appreciate you, man. Yes, and sir. uh can't wait for the big news. Okay, thanks. I, I'll let you know. I'll keep you informed. You know, I got you. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. All right, all right, y'all take it easy. All Have right. a good day. You too. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.